Hello and welcome back to my channel. Welcome if you're new here. My name is Jen and today I'm here to talk to you about how to lose weight fast. Three very simple steps that are based on science. So if you're excited for today's video, give it a big huge thumbs up. And if you're new to my channel or you're watching and you haven't subscribed, of course we'd love to have you join our community. Hit the subscribe button and ring the bell next to it so you never miss a single video. I do upload all things nutrition, we debunk myths, we talk about healthy ways to lose weight and maintain our weight, and I do upload every Tuesday and Thursday, so make sure you're subscribed and your bell notification is turned on. Check out that description box down below where you're going to find nutrition coaching. I do offer personalized to you macros and calories, that way you know exactly where you should fall every day to be most successful. I also offer one-on-one -on -one coaching sessions if you want a little bit more individualized support and chat with me directly, I'd love to help you. Links, discounts to all my favorite healthy things are also down in that description box. So let's jump into today's video. are consulting your physician before embarking on any weight loss plan. All bodies are different, so we want to make sure that we're doing it in a healthy, sustainable way. And that doesn't mean losing three, four, five pounds a week. A healthy amount of weight loss every week is half of a pound to about two pounds per week on the high end. Many eating plans out there, many diets leave you feeling hungry and unsatisfied. So today I want to share with you some tips on how you can lose weight rather quickly, but not feel hungry and unsatisfied and make it a sustainable, practical lifestyle. Lower carb diets, whole food diets, and diets based around counting calories are considered to be the most sustainable by scientists. And the reason for this is they reduce your appetite because you're feeding your body real food, which keeps you full and satisfied. They cause a little bit faster weight loss than some other plans out there like low fat or maybe even keto. And they improve your metabolic rate all at the same time, which is really, really important to have a highly functioning metabolism while you're losing weight and when you maintain your weight. So step number one to fast weight loss is cut back on the refined carbohydrates. Now you've heard me say the word refined. We never want to eliminate or restrict. We don't want to remove carbs out of our diet and we certainly don't want to eat such a small number of carbs every day that we're not eating a well-rounded diet, which is something that's much more sustainable than really restricting or cutting back. So we want to focus on cutting back, not removing those refined carbohydrates. These are things like processed prepackaged foods, sugars, starches, and we want to replace those items with whole grains. When you do this, your hunger levels go down, you're eating less calories, therefore you're in a calorie deficit, and most importantly, you're fueling your body with high functioning food that your body knows what to do with, can metabolize, boost your metabolism, and keep you full and satisfied. If you are following a calorie deficit, when you're eating carbohydrates, make sure that the ones you're choosing are relatively high in fiber. Our bodies can process carbohydrates more efficiently when they're paired with another nutrient like fiber. A 2020 study found that lower carbohydrates, removing or reducing those refined carbs, is the best beneficial weight loss plan for older individuals. Low carb diets also are beneficial when it comes to reducing your appetite. So as you eat low carb over time, you generally feel less hungry. And again, this is because you're feeding your body real whole food and you're focusing on meats, vegetables, fruits, and those whole grain unrefined carbohydrates. If you are going to follow a low carb diet, make sure you are eating enough calories. You can't just reduce your carbohydrates and expect that to be a sustainable long-term way to lose weight and maintain weight. I always say whatever you do to lose weight, you need to do when you've reached your weight loss goal. So make sure whatever you're doing is sustainable for your lifetime. Make sure you're choosing those unrefined carbohydrates, still include carbohydrates and a good amount of those into your diet. And that should be a quick path to weight loss, but also will continue to be sustainable for you long term. Tip number two is eat protein, fats, and vegetables. Fat is not the enemy, my friends. Each one of your meals and snacks should include a protein source, a fat source, vegetables, and a good amount of complex carbohydrates, such as these whole grains that we talked about in tip number one. Eating your recommended protein goal every day is absolutely essential to your health. It also helps maintain your muscle mass that you already have in your body and 
definitely, most definitely helps you build muscle mass as you're losing weight. You can build additional muscle that will shine through your body once you've removed that layer of fat. As a weight loss and nutrition coach, I give my clients, like I mentioned, personalized macros and calories. I will give you a high protein goal every day and a must reach protein goal every day. And there is a method to that madness. And that's what we're talking about here and making sure that you're eating a good amount of protein every day and that you're eating protein with every meal and snack. Making sure you're eating enough protein, one of the big side effects of that is it reduces your cravings and your obsessive thoughts about food by over 60%. I will tell you that now that I have a protein goal and I watch my calories, I think about food so much less that I make sure that I'm getting protein in with every meal, which keeps me full and satisfied and takes my mind off of food. Also, just consuming protein reduces your desire to snack at night. This is my big downfall and I make sure that when I have my final meal of the day that it has a good amount of protein so that I'm not snacky when I'm watching TV or YouTube or even TikTok on my phone. And protein makes you feel full and satisfied. And this is the big benefit of protein. Besides muscle mass, besides curbing those nighttime cravings, it makes you full and satisfied. Therefore, you are eating less calories. Therefore, you're losing weight. Some great sources of high proteins are, of course, are your meats, your beef, chicken, pork, fish, eggs, whole milk, cottage cheese, yogurt, those are all great sources of protein and some excellent sources if you are plant-based or you try to follow a somewhat plant-based lifestyle. Some great plant-based proteins are beans, legumes, quinoa, tempa, and tofu. Also make sure that you're loading up your plate with those low carb green leafy vegetables. These are absolutely essential for functioning of your body. They're packed with nutrients and you can eat a very large amount of these for very, very little calories. So don't be afraid to pack over half of your plate with these vegetables. Some vegetable recommendations would be things like broccoli, cauliflower, cucumbers, spinach, tomato, kale, Brussels sprouts, cabbage, Swiss chard, and of course, lettuce. And most importantly, don't be afraid of eating healthy fats. Again, it's essential for your body that you're eating healthy fats every single day. Your body requires healthy fats, no matter what eating plan that you're following. My favorites are avocado oil and olive oil. It's very simple to incorporate these into your day. You could fry up your vegetables in oil instead of nonstick cooking spray. You could fry up your egg in the morning in oil. Instead of buying bottled store-bought dressings, make one with oil, vinegar, some salt and pepper, a little bit of mustard, and it's an amazing vinaigrette. And tip number three for quick fat loss is move your body. Exercise, while it's not required to lose weight, it is important for us to move our body. This doesn't mean we have to go to the gym. This doesn't mean we have to run marathons or lift weights for two hours every day. What this means is just moving our body a little bit more on a day-to-day -day basis. It is also important as you go throughout your weight loss to think about incorporating some strength training. That doesn't mean lifting 100 pound dumbbells. That means just light weights, lots of repetitions, and there's a lot of reasons why strength training is incredibly important. It'll help you burn a lot of calories. It prevents your metabolism from slowing down. It reshapes your body by building muscle. Muscle and fat weigh the exact same. A pound is a pound. However, muscle takes up less space than fat, so when you have more muscle on your body, you generally look leaner, smaller, and more toned up. If lifting weights are out of the question for you at this point in your journey, or for medical reasons, you can do very simple things like walking, light jogging. You can even walk laps around your house. I have been known to do that. I will walk laps around my backyard to get in some extra movement. It's more important, these little movements that you do throughout the day. This is called NEAT, non-exercise activity thermogenesis. This is more important than that sweaty workout at the gym. So the bottom line is just move your body a little bit more every day. I wanna share with you nine proven tips to lose weight a little bit faster. These are things that you can actually start incorporating right now to get the scale moving in the right direction. Tip number one is eat a high protein breakfast. I tell my clients, make sure that you are eating 20 grams of protein every morning with breakfast. This starts your day off on the right foot. Avoid sugary drinks and fruit juices. None of these are beneficial in any way to your body. They're not useful to your body and they can actually hinder your weight loss. Tip number three is drink water before your meals. When we're drinking water, it's putting something into our stomach and it's proven that we will consume less calories 
at that meal if we drink water beforehand. Choose weight loss friendly foods. Not all food is created equal. Make sure you're choosing from a list of healthy foods. Make substitutions for your favorite things for just a little healthier version. Make sure you're eating your fiber. This is so important. 25 grams a day is what's recommended for women and 35 grams a day is what is recommended for men. So make sure you're getting in your fiber so your body can process the other macronutrients that you're eating the most effective and efficient way. Number six is drink coffee or tea. Actually drinking coffee and tea helps boost your metabolism. This means black coffee or black tea. This doesn't mean adding all those added sugars, syrups, and milks. Make sure that you're not drinking a lot of your calories in your coffee or tea. Tip number seven is huge. This is the most important one to me, and that is to base your diet around whole foods. Watch those refined carbohydrates and those processed foods and gravitate most of your meals and snacks towards real whole food. Tip number nine is a tip I need to really focus on, and that is to eat more slowly. Put your utensil down between bites. Make sure that you're focused on your eating. You're not watching TV, checking your phone. You're actually enjoying your food and consuming it more slowly. That gives our brain a chance to recognize that we've eaten and that we're satisfied in full so that we are less likely to overeat. And tip number nine is get good quality sleep. Sleep is so incredibly important to feeling better, losing weight, and just our overall health. So you're probably wondering, if I follow all these tips and tricks, how fast am I actually going to lose weight. Remember, every body is different, so I can't tell you exactly what you're going to lose every week, but like we mentioned, half of a pound to two pounds at max per week is what is considered a healthy rate of weight loss. And remember, when you first start a new diet plan or you start restricting calories, you're going to see a pretty substantial number the first week or two. Remember, that is a lot of water weight with very little body fat that you're losing. So we're so excited when we see five or seven pounds the first week, but we're just losing that excess water in our body that we built up based on the foods that we were choosing before we decided to follow a healthier lifestyle. Just remember weight isn't everything. That number on the scale doesn't define who we are. It isn't the be all end all. There are so many benefits health-wise from reducing our body weight. Blood sugar levels tend to drastically drop when we're at a healthier weight or as we take off pounds, and especially if we remove those processed carbohydrates. Our triglycerides tend to go down, the LDL or what's considered the bad cholesterol reduces, and your blood pressure can improve significantly with very, very little weight loss. So don't just go by that number on the scale. Think about all of the other health benefits that you're getting for reducing your weight. So remove Remove those processed carbs with complex carbohydrates, watch your calories, make sure you're in a calorie deficit, move your body, and make sure your meals are well-rounded. Protein, fats, vegetables, and complex carbohydrates, and you'll see the scale move in the right direction. Don't forget about macro and calories from me as a weight loss and nutrition coach, so you know exactly how much protein, carbohydrates, and fats, and calories you can be, you should be consuming every day. You can't lose weight without being in a calorie deficit. So definitely take advantage of that service. That is down in the description box, along with those links and discounts to my favorite healthy options. Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed today's video, give it a big, huge thumbs up. And don't forget if you're new or you haven't subscribed, hit that subscribe button so you don't miss an upload every Tuesday and Thursday. Feel free to share this video if you think someone else in your life could benefit from it and share my channel as well. I really appreciate appreciate you sending your friends and family over this way for beneficial nutrition information. Thank you again so, so much for watching and I'll see you next time. Bye.